way to help my friend pack her truck to move away from me. So this is a hard day for me. I am happy for her, don't get me wrong. She has wanted this for such a long time. But I am very sad for me. I think that's normal. So anyway, rough day. I thought I should vlog in the car, which is clogging and I'm in the wrong shoes. It's going to be a hot day today. I see some clouds building up, so maybe we'll get some overcast later. That would be phenomenal. I'm, I wilt in the heat. I think a lot of people are like that too. Um, I'm, I'm merging onto the interstate. pack a truck. I'm sorry if the lighting is, is cruddy. It's going to change as the sun moves around. Um, anyway, just wanted to say hi. I hope everybody had a great weekend. It is Monday. It is um, the 17th of July, which means that summer is half over <laughs> already. And um, Looking forward to fall, I think. I think I, I think I need fall. I, I love the fall. And it's it's a little cooler, but it's not hot, but it's not cold. I like spring and fall. We need to have more of spring and fall. I, I'm gonna put in my vote for that. Um what else? What else? What else? What else is going on? Got the big book all completed for the eBay. video probably Thursday morning which will be like the 20th and then the auction will run for I think seven 72 hours and then that way it will be ending during the weekend which hopefully will make it easier on folks and I'll make it I'll make it end in the morning so that um, it'll be the morning here, but it'll be the evening time, like in Europe. So we'll see how that we'll see how that works out. I was trying to I was trying to list it so that um, it's at a good time. Of course, eBay is different than Etsy because on eBay, you know, you can go ahead and put in your bid and you're done. You don't have to um, you don't have to watch it if you don't want to eBay bids for you, you know, in increments um, up to your highest bid. So it's different than Etsy. It's kind of like if you're going to go to bed and you're like, well, this is the much I, this is as much as I would pay for it, and you just put that in, then, then you don't have to watch it if you don't want to, <clears throat> unless you're like an eBay connoisseur and you like to sit to the last second and make your bids. I've done that. I've also put in my highest bid. Um, I've won things both ways. So it's however, it's whatever your strategy is on eBay. It's however you like to do it. Um, but it's all ready to rock and roll. I think you guys will like it. Um, I think it's cool. It's massive. <laughs> so that's cool too. Um, and I hope to be doing more of these perhaps once every month or two depending on how my schedule goes. Don't you love it when people ride, and will drive with their foot on the brake? Love that, I just love that. Oh my goodness, I gotta pass this guy. I'm not sure what the deal is. Um, see, that's not road rage, right? <laughs> it's road impatience. I've always been, in, um, I'm patient, I am like, horribly patient to a fault about some things and then other things I'm like I want it done yesterday and driving is one of those things interestingly enough yet I've never been in an accident I mean I've been in an accident but I wasn't driving so so it wasn't my fault um so we'll see we'll see how long that lasts I've also yet never had a traffic ticket. Again, not that I haven't 
deserved one. I've just never gotten one. So we'll see how long that lasts. Um, let's go on to other subjects. <laughs> let's see. Um, how are things going on your side of the world? It is hot and dry here. I hope for some rain soon. If you are getting too much rain, just send it my way. That would be great. I would love that. Um, I'm going to be working on some naked journals or, well, semi-naked. You know how I do. They're not embellished, but they do have lace sewn along the edges so that it looks real pretty when it's closed. And then you all can um, decorate the inside. So I'm going to be doing a couple of those coming up. I've got um, a custom journal to make this week, and I forgot to contact the person this morning. So you know who you are. I am sorry. I forgot to give you the heads up on that. Like I said, stressful morning. I don't want to do this. I don't, I don't want to do this. I've found myself very, very often if somebody, if I'm not, if I'm not feeling well or I'm feeling a little down and somebody asks me if I'm doing okay, I just say I'm tired. And so if you ever hear me say I'm tired when I don't sound tired, it's probably because I don't, I'm looking forward to something that I don't want to do. I think it's like my it's like my tell. <laughs> if I played if I played poker, that would be my tell. I'm tired. And it's not that I'm physically tired. It's that I'm just mentally not prepared for something that's coming up. And so I found myself this weekend a lot saying, I'm tired. And I, I, did, I just recently kind of figured that out, that I used to say that all the time if I'm sad or and somebody's like, hey, are you doing all right? You don't look your chipper self. I'm like, oh, I'm just tired. And I think a lot of us do that. I think a lot of us, it's not a lie <laughs> because you are tired, but you're just not divulging, you know, spilling your guts to everybody um, about what's going on, which is fine. You don't have to, that's, it ain't nobody's business. So I'm tired, I'll tell you guys. I am tired and it's going to be a day. It is going to be a day. So I'll let you know how that turns out later on. I should have went and got donuts or something because whenever I'm tired, I need fat and sugar. <laughs> um, but I didn't do that. So anyway, how are you guys? I mean, as far as like when you guys have friends move away and I mean, she's not just moving to like another town in our state. She's like moving 1500 miles away. So yeah, I, it's a little, it's a little more than I want to deal with right now, but that's okay. It's okay. I'll get over it. I will get over it. I'm such an introvert anyway. I don't know why I'm always so sad when people leave. Um, Although she and I have been friends since we were 15 and you know, I'm 25 now, so it's been an entire decade, right? So it's been, it's, you know, we've been friends for a long, long time. So that's rough too. And um, it's just hard when you can't just drop everything and drive to the next town and meet your buddy for lunch or, cause she only lives like 20 minutes away from me. So it wasn't like a big fat hairy deal to go meet her for um, lunch. And sorry, I forgot to roll up one of my windows. And yes, I'm driving 70 miles an hour down the interstate and it's kind of noisy. So if you hear that, I apologize. I forgot to do that. It's just open like a hinky pinky bit, but it's enough to make a lot of noise. But you guys made this trip quick because I am nearly at her house, about another five minutes. And so, um, Talking to you guys is kind of like therapy, I think. It instead of just bottling stuff up like a good Irish girl, because <laughs> that's what I do. That's what I do. Um, if I talk it out, I find that um, I deal better. And so, a little tip to everybody out there: talk it out. If you have a YouTube channel, just tell us about it, and maybe it'll help you to get through your rough patches. Um, I guess that's about it. My life's not real exciting right now. 
my life's never real exciting. Um, yeah. No. And yes, I cut my hair again. <laughs> You're like, oh, she's going to be bald. Yeah, I'm going to be bald. It's okay. It's all right. I can be bald. Um, it's cooler. It's much, much less warm when it, when you're bald. Um, yeah. It's okay. Hair grows back. That's what I keep telling myself. After I cut it, I'm thinking, mm, should I have taken that off? I'm like, oh, hair grows back. They have a big Goodwill store here, and I really want to stop by, but I don't think I'm going to have time today. Um, one of you... Dear Hallie, um, told me that I need to get like a little, um, an earphone with a little speaker cord for my phone so that when I'm going through the store, it just looks like I'm talking to somebody on the phone when I'm, when I'm talking to you guys so I can do some more shop with me without looking like a total freakazoid. So I'll have to run to Target or something, you know, the trap, I have to run to the trap and um, get, see if they have one of those and get get one of those because maybe maybe that would help out because I would love to thrift with you guys. I would love to take you on a thrifting shopping spree. Well, shopping spree, you know, me and my $10. <clears throat> That'd be fun to do like a $10 challenge, see what I could get out with 10 bucks. That'd be fun. Um, because we could look at fabric, even clothes for journals and handbags and belts and all kinds of things that you can turn into journals. That'd be fun, right? Go through the old office supplies and see what they've got over there. So that might be a fun thing to do. So I will go check out one of those little cord things and see if I can find one. Because that might be fun. All right, my dearies, I am going to let you go so that you all can get on with your life. We'll see. I'll watch this video later. It's probably just a jumbled mess of random that you won't even want to watch. I don't know why I do this to you guys. This is going to be another untitled pointlessness just with a different date next to it because it's me just rambling along. So, all right, my lovelies, you guys have an excellent day. And if your friend is moving away, I feel your pain, my friend. I feel